Hello to everyone watching this video. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. In this particular video, I'm going to introduce three new things. A villain, a hero, and a creature. And if you guys could bear with me, I will introduce each of them to you. Just bear with me, please. Here's the first one. Elibot. Real name, inapplicable. Height and weight varied. Status, villain and servant of Cosmic. Base, Cosmic Slayer. Intelligence, five brains. Behavior, stubborn, destructive, and genocidal. She'll do anything to honor Cosmic and all of her commands. Lethality. Extremely dangerous to most of her targets. Weaknesses. Only the most powerful beings can destroy her. Powers. She has the same powers as Ellie. She could only be as big as Cosmic wants her to be. She later develops a strong healing factor and a built-in teleportation system. Eyes deep red. Hair deep orange. Origin. One time, Cosmic learned that one of her known creations, Ellie, had joined the ranks of the Alpha Gods, and thus Cosmic decided to make her own version of her. With the help of villains Neuron and Dark Pym, they created an evil android of Ellie that they decided to name Elibot. Cosmic then stated to Elibot to eliminate the two to eliminate the two Earths, but eventually Elibot was confronted and torn to bits by Ellie who saw her as bad for society. Outraged of both another defeat and losing against the betraying Neuron and Dark Pym, Cosmic restored the damaged Elibot and program programmed her to be worse than before. Costume. She simply wears nothing official, nothing in particular. Teams. She simply works for Cosmic. Words of inspiration? Ellie. The next character I'm going to introduce is the hero which is the daughter of a well-known duo that I've already introduced you guys to in the past. Fauna. Real name? Gabby Hipra. Height? 5 feet 11 inches. Weight? 150 pounds. Status? Hero. And daughter of Centaura and Pan. Base? New York City. Mobile. Intelligence? Three brains. Behavior? Flirtatious, yet serious. She's always happy about herself. Lethality. Very lethal, but usually when outraged. Weaknesses. She hates it when others turn her down. Powers. She has sharp hooves, high agility, great speed, and long-pointed horns. She's also a good guesser. Eyes olive green, hair brown, but dyed blonde. Origin. After their pregnancy, Centaur and Pan finally had a daughter born with the traits of the satyr. However, Chimera attempted to kill their child, forcing the two to leave her up to adoption in order to keep her safe. The infant was taken to a neighborhood in New York, where she was given the name Gabby. By high school, Gabby was the cheer captain and the only person in town at the time to be a satyr, which she never really worried about. One day, she saw a mugger abusing a kid, and she stopped him by headbutting him. Afterwards, she was marked as a hero and reunited with Santara and Pan. Since then, Fauna was both an expert cheerleader and a crime fighter with her true parents. Costume. She prefers her orange and white cheerleader uniform. Team solitary with her parents and other heroes. Or inspiration, satyrs of Greek mythology. Here's the last thing I'm going to introduce, which is a creature, a native of uh, an island located in the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean called Ancient Island. Gatorbot. Real name, inapplicable. Length, 10 to 25 feet. Weight, 4.5 to 13 tons. Status, villain, and native of Ancient Island. Base, Ancient Island, Atlantic Ocean. Intelligence, one and a half brains. Behavior, sneaky yet relentless. It'll do anything to cure its hunger. Lethality, 
Highly deadly, both in and out of the water. Weaknesses. It's the favorite meal of any spinal bot. Powers. It has great strength, sharp teeth, tough scales, is a fast swimmer, can hold its breath for weeks, and has a series of tail spikes used both as a mace and like throwing darts. It also possesses computer-based senses, can make a paralyzing shriek, and can sometimes travel in groups of around 30 to 50 members. Eyes glowing red, hair none. Origin. Since the birth of ancient island, most of the rivers and lakes were dominated by ferocious gator bots. It has the same lifestyle as that of prehistoric crocodilians, but is deadlier due to being cybernetic. If it can't find food in the water, then it could go on land to look for other food. If a prey or predatory rival is particularly hard to defeat, it would make a silent alarm to attract nearby gator bots. After its victory, it and the other gator bots would have a fine feast from the fresh kill. Due to all this, the gator bot is one of the best predators on Ancient Island. Costume? None. Team? Solitary? Or in groups? Original inspiration? Cyborgs and crocodilians. Well, I... Hope you guys enjoyed those three themes I've introduced. And um, to be honest with you guys, I recently got a new uh, video camera, which I was supposed to figure out how to make a new video for this particular video here that you're seeing, but I couldn't figure out how to do it right as of yet. But keep in mind that there will be far better visuals and such from using this instead of my normal laptop app camera app. So I really hope you guys could bear with me when it comes to me trying to figure out how to make this work properly. I hope it's not too much to ask. And uh, I hope you guys have a fine uh, rest of the month since my birthday is coming up in the 26th. It's also my dad's. So um, just to give you guys a heads up about that. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. I hope you're having a fine rest of the summer, and until next time, in transmission.